Two sides making their way out to the center. It's match number two of the stage up K7 tournament. Here you go, the two teams out on the mat for match number two of the K7 stage up Kabaddi. Should be a great encounter this. The first encounter was dominated by the Bhaini school. And we are expecting plenty of fireworks here too. This is a fiercely contested tournament. And after the K7 qualifiers in March, that was the first ever professional tournament for under 21 players in Haryana. The best 10 teams qualified right here. The likes of Mandeep will be very, very important to watch. 66 raids, 25 raid points, 8 tackle points. He's a key all-rounder as well. And these guys will all battle it out to become champions of the K7 Kabaddi Stage Up 2021. 59 matches between now and the 8th of August. Umesh, another one to watch out for. 53 total raids, 24 raid points. He is an out-and-out -out raider with a very decent strike rate as well. We have 10 teams, 2 groups, and this is a pool A fixture. Each pool consists of 5 teams, and the top 3 teams from each pool will qualify for the Super 6 stage, and then the top 4 teams from the Super 6 will make it to the playoffs and the grand finale. We saw the Bhaini school lead the charge in match number one. We had Anu Kumar in the house as well. There we go. Two captains for the toss. What an opportunity for these young guys. It's a platform where if they do well enough, they will be noticed by the top sides, professional teams, PKL teams as well. A lot of scouts will be watching with eager eyes. But this is where they must strike. We've talked about how Haryana has been a hotbed of Kabaddi. And that's where the K7 Kabaddi stage up begins. Starts in Haryana. We'll look to go across the country as well. What an opportunity for these guys to perform on a stage given to them. We're live on fan code. Get your fantasy games going on Dream 11 as well. For now, we are here at the future of Kabaddi in many ways. It's a tournament that aims to bring forward some of the top junior raiders from across the country. The fastest juniors, the most fearless juniors. Great raiders and defenders and giving them a platform to hone their skills, to showcase their skills to the Kabaddi-loving audience in the country. Ten teams participating with over 140 players and coaches from 50 villages and towns across Haryana. And this tournament is taking place at the Future Fighters Kabaddi Academy in Gurugram. The 59 matches will be played over 18 days to fight it out for the prestigious title of the first ever K7 Stage Up Champions. We finish on the 8th of August. Each player is under the age of 21. Each academy team has a squad size of 12. 
And every one of our matches is being broadcast live on the Fan Code app for free. And you can stay tuned to kabaddiadda.com as well for all the news, all the scores, and everything else that's coming your way. So head across to Fan Code. Because this is what we've got coming your way. We saw the Baini School win by 36 points versus Chajuram Kabaddi Academy. Koker Kabaddi Academy now takes on the NK Kabaddi Academy. At 6 p.m. today, we have the PNJ Kabaddi Academy taking on Baini School. And then we finish things off at 8 p.m. with the Koker Kabaddi Academy taking on Chajuram Kabaddi Academy. All live right here on Fan Code. So, about to get this match underway. Very important that the teams get off to a bright start. Each of them know that there are many eyes watching this tournament. The first match was won by Bainey School by a massive margin. Now it's NK Kabaddi versus Koker Kabaddi Academy. Here we go. We have lift off in match number two. Tall, lanky Raiders. Great defenders as well. And it is going to be a seriously good encounter. And it is Ankit who will be one of the stars to watch surely. Early inroads. Both these teams have the skill sets. They've got the opportunity to shine on the biggest stage as well. Safe raids early. You see that with a lot of the youngsters. No one looking to take a risk early. We're here at the Future Fighters Kabaddi Academy, home of Anup Kumar. Running hand touch attempted, but great work from the defense to evade that touch as well. Really good to see the within these teams. These are all future stars of Kabaddi. And supported by the Dream Sports Foundation, we're live on Fan Code. NK Kabaddi Academy in the yellow, Koker in the blue. On the front of their jerseys. Oh, up and over. Up and over. Actually, the Coker Academy. Are the ones to watch, really. They are the ones in yellow. Sorry, my apologies. Coker Kabaddi Academy in yellow. And they pick up the first points. NK Kabaddi Academy in blue on the front. Koker Academy with yellow on the front of their jerseys. And it is the Koker Academy to raid Mohit, the all-rounder. Right raider, strong young lad. And heads across. For another empty raid. We've seen a few of them. It will start to take off though. This encounter. For the NK Academy. This is Umesh. 
Number one jersey. Again, a right raider. Slightly shorter in stature. Quick pursuit attempted. Good attempt from Rahul from the left corner. Really nice effort from Rahul. You always see that with the corner defenders. They're up against that midline and swiftly onto it. In comes Vinay and out goes Vinay. Wonderful tackle. The tackle coming through from the right cover, Ashish Kumar. As he turns, in comes Ashish. And the support is there initially from the left corner, Rahul. And the support came in from Ashish as well. Back to raid now for the NK Kabaddi Academy who are defending. They need to lift their skills because it's Mandeep the Raider who has looked to use the lobbies and get through. Can't quite get there though. Good tackle in the end. Mandeep has to visit the bench. In comes Rakesh for the NK Academy. Apologies for the graphic on the bottom. The NK Kabaddi Academy is in blue. It is the Koker Academy in yellow. And we'll flip that around in a bit. So this is the Coker Academy raiding at the moment. Still nothing from that raid. A few empty raids we're seeing early. It is the Coker Academy with the yellow fronts on their chest. NK Academy in blue who are defending at the moment. He's a tall lad. Striking to see him as well. Ankit, the Raider, number two. A little slow to get back, but he gets away with it. Another empty raid. It's been slow going early doors here in this contest. They're not really pushing early because it is a long match. They know it. It's 3-2 the scoreline at the moment. Koker Academy, these men in yellow, leading by one. And you've got Likes of Anu Kumar watching eagerly. NK Kabaddi Academy on two. Koker Kabaddi Academy on three at the moment. And it is NK Kabaddi Academy to raid. Lovely attempt at the running hand touch. Rakesh gets across. Great skills shown. Gets the running hand touch on the right corner. Gets rid of Priyank. And it's Vinay that comes back onto court for them. Meanwhile, Mohit, the all-rounder in yellow for the Koker Kabaddi Academy. Strong right raider. Very good all-rounder, Mohit. Looks for the toe touch. Gets away and gets a slap on the back. Two-point raid. Great work. Very, very swift. Take a look at this again. Worth watching. Looks for the toe touch. Attempted tank and a slap on the back. He gets Manish, the right cover, who was caught napping. 
looks for the bonus. NK Kabaddi Academy is Rakesh. <laughs> it's Koker Academy now back to raid. They are the ones in yellow. Breaking through. No, definitely not. That is a good tackle from the NK Academy boys. Krishan in the right corner doing a good job. But in the end, he's allowed to head back. I think the contact was late. Vinay to raid for the NK Kabaddi boys. A left raider, Vinay. Looks for the bonus. He's a tall man. Looks for the bonus. He thinks he's got it. All seven on the mat for the boys in yellow. The Koker Kabaddi Academy. And NK Kabaddi Academy, remember, are the ones in blue. So ignore the, don't get confused by the score graphic at the bottom. The guys in yellow are the Koker Kabaddi Academy. But even Stevens, it's a much tighter game than the first one. This, two very good sides. And you can see by the way that they're approaching it as well. Very strong boys, well built. Good work. On that occasion, by the NK Kabaddi Academy, it was Rakesh who came in. Ten minutes gone. And a timeout called. Just a reminder of where this tournament is being held. You can view the schedule of the tournament, the K7 Kabaddi Stage Up 2021, and all the data and the stats on kabaddiadda.com. Meanwhile, you can watch all the live coverage on fan code and head across to Dream 11 to play your favorite fantasy as well. Plenty on offer here through this tournament, the K7 Kabaddi Stage Up. Excellent to watch so far. And you've got to think that there is a tight game in the offing here. Superb so far. NK Kabaddi are defending and they're defending well. Five men on court for the NK Kabaddi Academy. Koker Academy in yellow. Still looking to find a way to break through. Mandeep is the raider this time around. Right raider. Circles across. Looks for the toe touch. Still nothing. The tight game. A very, very tight game. Ten minutes gone. It is the NK Kabaddi Academy now raiding from left to right in this first half. Rakesh, he's been one of the swift raiders in this team so far. Strong right raider and that's a good reason why. Right cover couldn't do much there. He came across Ashish Kumar from that right cover. But... Rakesh was up to the challenge. Ten and a half minutes. It is a very, very tight game. Hooker Academy on six. They are raiding at the moment with a lead of two. They do have the bonus line active. And yet again, it is the all-rounder Mohit. Who's coming to raid? They're using him a lot. And this is why. Another two-point effort. That's the second one from Mohit. He's strong. He's smart. And he uses the lobbies to great effect. Watch this. Gets away from the ankle hold in that left corner. Then the attempted dash comes in from the right cover, Manish. But he breaks through that as well. This time, looks back at his teammates. Nothing yet. NK Kabaddi Academy raiding at the moment and they need the points. They are trailing. Oh, tackled and tackled hard. That is good to see. 
the strong tackle as well from the Coker Academy. And off goes Vinay. Coker Academy rating at the moment. Uses the lobby. I think he's off. He's surely off there. Yep. Mandeep, the Raider on that occasion, couldn't do much about it and had to head off. You can see it here. In comes the dash. It needed to be a soft one only from Rakesh. Enough on it. And now Rakesh comes in to raid himself for the NK Kabaddi Academy. Oh, huge leap. Huge jump over the chain. Attempted. But he can't get through. Good defense from the Coker Academy boys. It was Priyank, the right cover, who put in a fine tackle. Right corner, rather. Priyank. He's actually a decent raider as well on that right corner, Priyank. But now the tall man, the tall, lanky Ankit, with a super tackle opportunity for NK Kabaddi Academy. They're actually trailing by just one now. 9-8, the scoreline. Coker Academy in yellow leading. Seven minutes to go in this first half. NK Kabaddi Academy playing from left to right. They are raiding at the moment. And Umesh is the raider. Hasn't had too much success so far. And yet again, should be an empty raid for Umesh. Heads back and joins his teammates on the left side. Just the three men on court at the moment, not four. Ignore that graphic at the bottom, sorry. Three men, which means a super tackle opportunity. Timeout has been called. Let's try and listen in. Koker Kabaddi Academy on 10, NK Kabaddi Academy on 8. A few words from the coaches. This is the NK Kabaddi Academy. They're down to just three men and a super tackle opportunity. They're going to try and play on that because. They are trailing by two points and a super tackle does give you two points. 8-10 the scoreline. Fascinating Kabaddi. Remember, this is the feeder series really in some sense to the big boys. These are the academies from across Haryana that serve as the feeders to the big leagues. NK Kabaddi Academy from left to right raiding at the moment in blue. In yellow are the Koker Kabaddi Academy boys. And they've got all seven on the mat. Yet again, no success really for the Raider at the moment. Umesh, he has struggled. Oh, hang on. He didn't calculate it. And he says, there's only the second. The next raid will be a do or die raid for NK Kabaddi Academy. So, just deliberating here, the umpires. And the next raid, you would think, for NK will be a do-or-die raid. This is a big one, though. Koker Academy about to raid. And a card given for showing dissent. That's a, a naughty boy. Is <laughs> the one from the right corner, Krishan. For the NK Kabaddi Academy being given the green card. So here we go. Big raid here. One versus three. Oh, he gets through. And that should be another card given possibly. Not the best tackle. He gets through though. Mandeep, the raider. The tug on the shirt is never looked at nicely. In came the left corner. He missed completely. And the Raider on that occasion, Mandeep, sneaking through for the Koker Academy. It's a big mistake, really, for NK Academy, who now have to find a way through. Umesh comes into Raid yet again. 
Four minutes to go in this first half. Umesh, the right raider for the NK Kabaddi Academy. He looks to jump, a half hour to jump, but actually he gets the job done. He won't mind that. Not the best tackle from Mandeep. And he had no reason to go there. He's normally a raider. There you go, into the chest and off he goes. Now, one versus three. Super tackle opportunity. NK Kabaddi Academy defending. You've got Krishan on the right corner. You've got Umesh on the far side along with Vijay Kumar. And it's Ankit raiding for the Koker Academy. Heads back. Ankit, the tall, lanky raider. And it's back with Umesh now for the NK Kabaddi Academy. Umesh still searching for points. We saw him pick up a point in his last trade. Three men on court for NK Kabaddi Academy. Again, super tackle opportunity. Yet again, it's the all-rounder for the Coker Academy raiding. One versus three. And heads back with an empty raid. They are playing on the super tackle strategy. Super tackle opportunity. Ankit the raider. Tall man. This will be an important raid. Ankit versus the defense of the NK Academy. Ankit for Koker in yellow. Number two. He's got that defense waiting. He's going across court once. He's going across court twice. Then gets over the cover defender. That is a great leap of faith for Ankit. And the Koker Academy strike again. Extend the lead to three points with just over a minute to go in this first half. Look at this effort. He goes across to the right corner. That's where he had Krishan. Then he goes back and leaps over Sanjay in the cover region. But they get one back. Good work from Krishan. The right corner defender showcasing that he can raid as well and gets rid of Shivam. This time, Mandeep. He's been one of the more successful raiders so far. Mandi. And looks to go away again on the defensive strategy. They're playing on the empty raids and the smart strategy of trying to push the defense into scoring points. NK into raid, NK Kabad, Kabaddi Academy from Haryana as well. This is Krishan. He's a right corner defender, but also can raid as an all-rounder. Back now with Ankit. This is going to be the key raid yet again. We've talked about this tall man. He's been good so far. We saw a big leap from him in the previous raid. That was actually his first point as a raider. He's been playing quiet Kabaddi. And yet again, empty raid. Quiet Kabaddi continues from Ankit. And a swift empty raid, meanwhile, on the other side for NK Kabaddi Academy. Now, super tackle opportunity. Mohit, the raider. He is... An all-rounder. Sorry, it's Mandeep this time around. Mandeep gets slammed. Caught in the corner with an ankle hold. Then brought down. And a super tackle to the NK Kabaddi Academy boys. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. At the stroke of halftime. Wonderful tackle. Clutches on for dear life. Krishan in the right corner does a great job with the ankle hold. And this should be the last raid of the half. And it's a good one. 
Vinay comes in, picks up the point, turns, tumbles, gets two, in fact. I think this could be for the lead as well. Brilliant work from the NK Kabaddi Academy boys at the stroke of half time. And there you go, that is the end of the first half. What a comeback from NK Academy in blue. Fantastic job by them. And they've got the job done wonderfully towards the back end of that first half. So at the end of the first half, it is such a close game. Coker Academy in yellow, their coach, with a few words for these boys. They need a bit more strength in numbers because NK Academy have a two-point lead. They were trailing by three or four just a couple of minutes ago. And they've turned that around the NK Kabaddi Academy. These boys in yellow, Coker Academy, have a bit of work to do. Quick chance to regroup, to reset. But it's a half that was excellently poised at one stage. It might be a bit different. It was a two-point rate at the end. So I think actually the score reads 14-12 in favor of the NK Kabaddi Academy. Koker Academy on 12. And they'll have a lot of work to be done in this second half. It is such a good game though. This is the future of Kabaddi. The future stars of the game as well. Some big names to watch out for in these encounters for NK Kabaddi Academy. Manish, Umesh, doing a good job. But this is a Pool A clash. Koker Kabaddi Academy versus NK. Second half, just moments away. But let's just remind you of what we're up to here. It is... The K7 Kabaddi Stage Up 2021. We had the K7 qualifiers that were earlier in the year in March. NK Kabaddi Academy's Rakesh has done a great job. Four eight points for him so far. And he's been one of the stars. Instrumental in giving NK Kabaddi Academy the lead at the end of the first half. It's a small one, but they'll take it. The two points at the end really help. Koker Kabaddi Academy in yellow. They've been good to watch as well. And number seven, Mohit, has been one of the key stars in that team. He's been the lead raider in some sense, used a lot by the team. Number eight, Ashish Kumar, the right cover. Number nine, the left corner, Rahul. There you go. That's the updated score. NK Kabaddi Academy on 14. Koker Kabaddi Academy on 12. The two-point rate at the end was what they needed. Five tackle points apiece for NK, but just three for the Koker boys. There is a legend of Indian Kabaddi, Anup Kumar. He served Indian Kabaddi for a long time, showcased his skills as well. And we are here at the Future Fighters Kabaddi Academy in Gurgram. Anup Kumar is trying to hone the future of Kabaddi there as well in Gurugram. Second half underway. From right to left in this half, it will be the NK Kabaddi Academy in blue. And defending at the moment are the Koker Kabaddi Academy. 14-12, the scoreline. Good start. They've reduced the Koker Academy boys down to just two men now. Great raid to start things off for the NK Kabaddi Academy boys. And yet again... The job being done by Rakesh, the key raider, number five in that central role. He'll play no role in defence. Meanwhile, it is Mohit, the all-rounder raiding. A right raider, Mohit. Very strong young man as well. Great physique. And these guys will only get stronger. All under the age of 21. This is for the future stars. They've come in. From across 50 villages and towns in Haryana. Wow, look at that effort. Athleticism at its very best. That is why he's been the most successful raider so far. Rakesh for the NK Kabaddi Academy leaps over the defense. Excellent work. Take a look at this. Uses the shoulders and leaps over 
the top of the cover defender. Gets over Ashish Kumar. That is a young man to watch. Rakesh for the NK Kabaddi Academy. And he's given them a three-point lead. That is the athleticism that we need to keep our eyes peeled on. Oh, wonderful defending. NK Academy are doing a great job in this second half. We are live on Fancode. And we're bringing you plenty of Kabaddi entertainment all until the 8th of August. Take a look at this effort. Comes through from the right cover, Manish. Number 10, he gets support from number 12, Sanjay, as well in the left cover region. And suddenly that lead continues to grow for the NK Kabaddi Academy. Looks for the bonus. Vinay this time around. Defensively, these men in blue have been very tight. NK Kabaddi Academy. The Coker boys trailing by three. And it's Ankit yet again into raid. Tall raider from the left side. It's a sizable lead now. In this second half, seven points lead for NK Kabaddi Academy. They've got the all out early. This time, brought down. Finally, finally, they get rid of the danger man, Rakesh. He's been a tough one to keep down. And that's great work from the Koker Academy. And suddenly the points are starting to flow. Four and a half minutes just over gone in this second half. Poker Academy coming back strong. It's going to be a big fight though. Under 15 minutes to go in this match. 22-14, the scoreline. Koker Kabaddi Academy with the yellow chest. NK playing from right to left in the second half. Vinay, the Raider this time around. Strong left Raider, he's got a big kick on him. And they're just keeping things calm. They're protecting this lead that they have pulled off the NK Kabaddi Academy. The boys in yellow, Koker, through their lead raider, need to find a way through. 
not been easy for this tall man. Wonderful tackle yet again. NK Kabaddi Academy's boys are switched on when it comes to the defense. And Ankit, the tall man, is brought down hard. Take a look at this tackle yet again. He comes across looking for that left corner. But in his way was a strong block from Vijay Kumar. Yet again, this has been the key man. Rakesh for the NK Kabaddi Academy. He moves very swiftly on court. Really nice to watch. Rakesh number five for NK Kabaddi Academy. Meanwhile, a lot of the work needs to be done by this all-rounder, Mohit, for the Koker Academy. He's been the mainstay for this side. Strong raider from the right side, but he's got a stellar defensive effort on the other side of it as well. NK Kabaddi Academy have been so organized with their defense. And this time they turn to Vinay. Left raider is Vinay. Always nice to have a mix of left and right raiders in your team. We're here at the Future Fighters Kabaddi Academy in Gurugram. We're live on fan code. And we are live with great defensive work from the Koker Academy, finally. Good work from the left corner, Rahul. We need to just eat away at this lead, Koker. Because there's not so much time left in this match. Just over 12 minutes. He won't find the midline. Good work defensively. And a crucial ankle hold actually coming in from Sanjay. The left cover lying flat on the ground. Take a look at this. First the left corner. Vijay Kumar does the damage. Then the man on the floor. Sanjay pulling him backwards. And it's back with Rakesh. The lead raider for the NK Kabaddi Academy, number five. Goes over, but gets slammed down on the mat. Brilliant defense. The chain went up with the raider, brought him back down hard. Smart work, left cover, Shivam involved as well. Needs a bit of that confidence. It all starts with that chain. Number eight and number five on the corner, Ashish Kumar and Shivam. So they're slowly chipping away at the lead. Rahul comes into raid and slots back into that left corner. You always knew it was going to be an empty raid because he is the left corner defender. Great work. NK Kabaddi Academy, every time Koker come back at them, are just inching ahead. NK Kabaddi Academy, really wrong with their showing so far. Just over 10 minutes left in this match. That's very, very tight. Because we've seen how quickly it's turned on its head. NK Kabaddi Academy actually were trailing in the first half. And it really was them that came back into it. But now Koker Kabaddi Academy have the job to do. They're still trailing in this match. And they're trailing by a sizable margin. Under 10 minutes now to play. In this second half. And it's yet again the Koker Kabaddi Academy boys raiding at this point. Mohit hasn't had as much success in the second half as he did in the first. And he will have to depart. Did not calculate the raids. Moeth heads to the bench. That's a poor showing. Need to think about it. The game of Kabaddi is as much in the mind as it is a physical sport. And this man has been excellent. 
He has had both the mind and body working nicely, Rakesh, for the NK Kabaddi Academy. He's back at the fray, one versus four, never easy for a Raider. We'll give you an update on the scoreline. Sorry, we're just having a few technical glitches from Haryana. That scoreline will update soon enough. Oh, he's got him, has he? No, one apiece. Two men. He entered the lobby without a touch and then one defender followed him in. So a mistake on the Raiders' part, but a mistake then from the defence as well. Brilliant. Turn and tumble, he's claiming it. He is claiming it. Wonderful work this. Dubki under. And he's unleashed it. Pardeep Narwal would be proud of that one. That's how good it was on that effort. Outstanding bit of skill from the Raider Vinay. So, nearing the final stages of this match, it is the NK Kabaddi Academy still in the lead. And yet again, slick, slick rating for the Coker Academy. Gets the job done. It's a really, really tight one, this. Koker Kabaddi Academy. Fighting back. It's a very, very tight one. A two-point raid, though, to NK Academy, and they have stretched their muscle on this match. We're trying to get the uh, scoreline updated for you. But meanwhile, it is NK Kabaddi Academy that is up in the lead. It's a really tight game, this. It's going the distance with just under six minutes to go now. Five and a half minutes to go. NK Kabaddi Academy coming through strongly. Just over five minutes to go. We are live on fan code. The NK Kabaddi Academy leading. Looks for the running hand touch. He claims he's got it as well. He's been sublime so far. Absolutely magical to watch. So good in this second half. Number 11, Vinay. 
he has controlled the NK Kabaddi Academy's heroics. And another great effort from him. Suddenly an uphill task. Ankit, the tall, lanky raider. Looks for the big kick. Unsuccessful so far. There is your score. 30 to 21 at the moment. The game that has gone the distance. No one really dominating. And NK just need to control this last passage of play here. Then a cagey affair, much tighter than the first game that was dominated by the Bainey School. This one heading towards the back end. It's almost a double-digit lead. Back in with this man. In the second half, he has controlled it for NK Kabaddi Academy. Vinay. The first half, he was quiet. In the second half, he's risen. He's sort of become the leader of this pack as well. One versus three, though, is a super tackle opportunity. And the men in yellow, the Coker Academy, need anything but that. That is a freebie. Too easy from Rahul. Gives a point away. And they extend the lead. A timeout has been called. Just two men left on court for the Koker Kabaddi Academy. The boys in yellow. Mohit, the all-rounder. And on the other side of things, NK Kabaddi doing a great job. They're protecting this lead. A lead of 11 at the moment. We've got just under three and a half minutes to go in this match. And the NK Kabaddi Academy boys have six men on court and doing a great job as well. Anup Kumar is in the house with his family. Anup, one of the legends of Indian Kabaddi, the Tota Badsha. And this is a Pule encounter that he is watching with eagle eyes as well. He's now one of the coaches in the Pro Kabaddi League. And there will no doubt be plenty of scouts watching this tournament live on fan code. Plenty of fans playing on Dream 11 as well. We're here at the Future Fighters Kabaddi Academy. And we're nearing the back end of this match. Just over three minutes to go. Koker Kabaddi Academy can't afford to put in empty raids like that. They need points from every raid to come through. Because NK Kabaddi Academy on the other side are just controlling things. Umesh, the raider this time around. He's got Mohit on the left corner. Super tackle. Super tackle coming through. And Umesh heads off. Not really the smartest raid from the NK Kabaddi Academy. You can see the defense saying, why did he do that? It wasn't needed whatsoever. With just over a minute to go, all they need to do is protect their lead. NK Kabaddi Academy leading comfortably by 10. And in comes Mohit. He needs a superhuman effort to erase this lead. 11-point lead, and that will continue to grow. Great tackle. Excellent tackle from the NK Kabaddi Academy. Really good work in the end. NK Kabaddi Academy controlling it. Now they will just wind the clock down. And no better man to have than Vinay to finish their encounter as well. He has been the star in this second half, Vinay. Excellent to watch. He was one point away from a Super 10. And I think he's got it with that raid. Should be the last raid of this match now. Koker Kabaddi Academy, unfortunately, haven't been able to put up enough of a fight. They started well. They had the early lead. But it is... NK Kabaddi Academy that should take this encounter. 
Wait for it. The clock is running down. Now we perhaps have time for one final raid. The all-out came for NK Kabaddi Academy. And it is a match that has been dominated in the second half by this young man, Vinay. He's tall. He's a left raider, which many teams, even in Pro Kabaddi, are looking for. And no doubt, there will be plenty of teams watching this young man, Vinay. Men like Mohit on the other side as well. As we near the final raids of this match. 30 seconds on the clock. In comes a tackle. It's a strong one. The right cover time. Doing a great job with the dash. Manish, number 10, leaves his mark. And hammers him home with the dash. Now they will watch the clock wind down. Less than 30 seconds to go. Vinay, who's already picked up a Super 10 in this match, will wind the clock down. That is the end of that. Excellent work from these boys in blue. NK Kabaddi Academy. And two real stars of the show for them. One definitely has to be the man who wears the number five on his chest, Rakesh, who was excellent in the first half. And then it was the Vinay show in the second half. Great work from the teams. A tighter game than the first one. And high quality Kabaddi on display from these youngsters as well. There is Vinay. What a great job he did in this second half. Picked up a Super 10. And great work from our umpires as well. Good smiles on their faces. They've worked tirelessly. They've worked hard to bring this tournament to light. And that is the end of match number two. Match number three will come your way at 6 p.m. But that is the final scoreline. NK Kabaddi Academy 38. Koker Kabaddi Academy 24. 17 raid points. 13 raid points to the Koker Kabaddi Academy. And nine tackle points to the men at the NK Kabaddi Academy. So they've got the win that they wanted. And we will rejoin you later in the evening. 6 p.m. is when we have match number three. And match number four will come your way at 8 p.m. Right here in Haryana. This is a K7 stage up tournament of Kabaddi. It is for the rising stars of Kabaddi as well. And we'll see you at 6 p.m.